not hard to see why the dioramas are called angels fishing rods. The flowers hang on long thin arching stems. It's not the easiest plant to grow. It's okay if it takes with you and it gets a relatively sunny situation and the soil isn't too um, water retentive. That's a posh way of saying it is not soaked. It's a lovely plant and it adds a, an elegance a subtle elegance. Ah, oh, jeez, I can't believe I just said that, but it does. I've apparently been told I have to clean up my axe a little bit on these uh, on these videos. So I'm trying to be a bit more botanical and a bit less smutty. And it's hard, but that is a beautiful plant. Diorama pulcherum or pulcherimum and that's angels fishing rods. It's easy from seed by the way. The Eryngium Mrs. Wilmot's ghost. It's looking quite spectacular at the moment. This is another fine plant. It's a straggly little twat. Oh, sorry. It grows absolutely through anything. It'll, I've seen it growing through yew hedging, Leylandi hedging, all sorts of hedging. Here, mind the thistle, sorry that isn't a weed, you didn't see that. Here, it's just growing up through some borders. The shrub was taken out that it was growing through, I think it was a cornice, and it succumbed in the winter. This is Tropiolum speciosum, or sometimes called the flame flower, or the Scottish flame flower. I wish it was easier to do in pots because it's something on the nursery that we're asked for all the time. But I don't find it easy, so if anybody's got any good ideas of how to grow it in pots, I'd be really delighted. It's one of those plants that either takes you with you or it doesn't. I've spent ages putting it in and under a shrub properly and uh, nothing, it just dies. Other times I've chucked it under a hedge and away it goes. It's a finickety little bastard, but it is so worth it. It's a member of the nasturtium family. Anyway, there we are, Tropiolum speciosum, Scottish flame flower. If I was to say to you, the old turtle head showing. You might be forgiven to wonder what I was talking about. But here the turtle head is showing. And this is uh, Chelone obliqua, a North American plant. Common name, you've guessed it, turtle head. I don't think it's hard to see why. You don't need much imagination, really. I think uh, the individual flowers, much the same as monk's hood, is quite descriptive. Turtle head is just as descriptive. And it's always bound to lead to loads of juvenile sniggers. Not for me, I'm far too cultured. Chaloni oblica. Are you sniggering over there?